Bart Man Meets Radioactive Man. This is the third installment for the NES series for The Simpsons. Acclaim once again brings this one, and it is a 1992 release. A lot of people think that this is probably the worst one out of the three, and I agree with them. Uh, but it's still pretty fun to play, you know, especially if you know what you're doing. Uh, and you can get through the whole thing, then it's worth sitting down and at least beating it once, um, at least once in your life. So, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get this party started. Bartman meets Radioactive Man for the NES. And now the, um, the credits are really long in this, you know, it's, um, it is basically, uh, Fallout Boy shows up, and see, there he is, and he says that Radioactive Man is in trouble, and he needs help, so that's when Bartman, um, kind of, uh, comes in. So, I'll just kind of go through these real quick, so we can start the game. I was a joke when I said these are long. <laughs> Bart, man. Okay, here we go. Bart, man meets Radioactive Man with Fallout Boy. <clears throat> Chapter 1 Swamp Hag's Junkyard of Doom. So, pause it real quick, get a drink, and then we'll start this game. Now there's these red dogs in here that are kind of a pain in the butt. And usually I can't get um, past the first one without getting hit. So let's see if we can do this. The controls, there's no super jump in this one. It's just a regular jump. And then you can also hit kick and punch. So here we go. Creep over so the dog tries to run for you. There we go. Hop over him. Run. See, like I said, I always usually get hit because he follows me. But let's get out of this way. Now, I think if you collect enough of those exclamation points, then you will, uh, I don't know, I think you get an extra guy or something like that. Now, these radioactive signs, those are extra hit points. And unlike the other two uh, games, you can actually get more than, um, than what's labeled on the screen. So right now it says we have five, but you can get as many as you want. Don't get in these claws or they will hurt you. So wait for, the, for them to close. Now that, that lightning is you can shoot lasers out of your eyes and that's a weapon. So with these we want to just wait for them to go over and then go like that and we can hang out for the side over there. Hopping and you know, well, whatever. I mean it doesn't matter if you miss those or not. You know, they're kind of like um... Uh, you know, you collect enough and you'll get something, but you gotta collect a bunch of them. There is a fast walk and you have to hold down the jump button. Hit him with the eyes. Watch out for that. Usually the tires will hit land right where I'm at. So wait for it to go and then we'll hop over again. Watch out for this rat and then fall. hug the wall when you fall. Collect these. Wait for this to close and then jump up. Now just jump over this. Oh, you dirty rat. Hug the wall again. And do the same thing. Hold on, this screen's weirding me out. It's like too... I don't know, whatever. Alright, here we go. Over. And we're gonna do the same thing for over there. Just hide things, wait for the bolts to come up. Oh, go ahead and grab this. Wait for the thing to close. Now, there's going to be something that's going to be flying. It's like a bird or something. So as soon as you jump past that claw, you got to shoot. Okay? So jump and shoot. There's another one right here. So we're going to wait for the rat. Right when the rat's coming, we want to jump. Collect this. 
and then go back to right here. You know, I'm going to go ahead and skip this. I usually don't get that because I don't really need it. You know, with some careful platforming, you can get through it just fine. There we go. Now let's go ahead and collect this. Wait for the rat to come. And then jump again. Jump, get this. This would be the way to get the, um... What's it called? You jump off of this, and you can get the, uh... That little hurricane. It's invincibility, is what it is. I'm gonna go here. And we can jump on this thing. Just hold down the jump button, and you'll go higher and higher. That's usually why I don't do that one. Because you get hit, and... You know, whatever. Jump there, and then jump... Right to there. And we can jump and get this. Now fall down... Right here. I don't really need that. Whoops. Didn't really mean to do that. Um, you could have got a 1-up over there, but now it's too late. Um, I always mess up on that part. So, wait for that to fall. And then go ahead and get the eyes, but land right here. There's gonna be, um... There he is. Hit him with your eyes. Collect the power up. Hug the wall. Jump up. And we can go ahead and grab these eyes. See how it says 59 right there? That is plenty. Way more than we need. So just take your time through these. You know, no need to rush. Just go through it. You know, it's not that hard as long as you take your time. You know, it's not like the other game, the other Simpsons game. Now, right here, I'm going to go ahead and pause it, and you can see a square that's right by the end of the, uh, of the tire stacks. That is a bonus level, but it can be tricky. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to jump up on there on the last tire and just walk off until we hit the square and it's going to take us to there and just follow my lead on there. There we go. Now just walk off. Now just fall off. Now duck and shoot him. Now we can fly. So take this route. Get there. Another free guy. Go ahead and get that. Get these. Another free guy. Another free guy. Go get your other Bart so you can continue flying. And just grab all of the power-ups that you can. Whoops. There we go. Now, get another one up and then that. I think there's there's something. There we go. There's another one up. We just got tons of power-ups. Oh, there we go. And that's okay. Look at me. If I hit pause, now we have 12 guys. We got tons of uh of uh, extra guys for that, and that's a way to load up on them. So, go ahead and take Igor out. Oh, I don't have the eyes anymore. Okay, that's fine. So go ahead and punch him. You have another attack. Uh, I believe you get... Yeah, oops, you're supposed to hug the wall on that. I forgot. I forgot where I was at. That's alright. Let's go up here. Oh, here we are. It starts you way back there. So, just did do what we did last time. And we gotta be careful, this one's fast. Whoops. Um, it doesn't matter, because we got a bunch of guys anyways. Kill him. Hug the wall. Grab this. I always screw up there because, like, you want to grab that extra, extra, um, 
hit point, but you don't want to, you know, but you don't want to get hit by the claw either, so it's like... Whatever. I'm just gonna hurry up and go through there. I'm not gonna even go for the thing, I'm just gonna go right there. There's nothing to really grab over there where the rat is. So, once again, I think there's a bird over here. Yeah, there he is. Or a fly. I think it's a fly, actually. So just keep going. Just take your time, and I think there's another fly over here, too. Yeah, there he is, so make sure you hit him. I don't like you, Igor. I, I do that just for the fun of it. I don't believe that there's anything over there. So, oh, we just did something. I think we got another life back, yeah, because we have 12. So I don't know how many we collected, but it does give you free guys. Uh, I think you can run and jump as far as you can. Yeah, there we go. And that'll get you over here. Now, just follow the uh, this thing. Drop down right here. I think we could hug the wall. There we go. Oops. You dirty rat. You dirty rat. Ooh. Surprised it didn't get me. Get Clifford, and the end is right here. Just jump into the bees. So that, the levels are long in this game. So, um, you know, it's just the way it is. It's a pretty long game. This level has a lot of platform in it, and it can be really annoying. We can just ride these down. Or actually, we can just jump for this one. It doesn't really matter. Um, I don't really need that. Grab this. Uh, watch out for those. Wait for him to kind of fall down. There we go. I believe we can jump over here. Oops, grab that. Come here, coward. I like that you could punch in this game. So over here, you can grab the eyes, and it's well worth grabbing them. Because it'll help out a lot later. So make sure you land on these and stay a little bit to the right of where they're spitting it out, or it can hurt you. And you're just gonna bounce from one to the other. Go ahead and jump on this one, grab that, and then jump where it where it where it fell. There we go. over here, hurt him, and watch out for the steam right here. Just wait for it to go. Now hop. Wait again for the steam. Hop again. Oh, there's a free guy over there. I wonder if it can... Yeah, it will go up, so we can get the free guy. So just wait for it to go down. And then... Grab the free guy. And then just wait, make your way up again. Steam. All right, here we go. Now we want to hop over onto this, and it can be kind of tricky to land in on those pipes. It's just you got to get the feel for it. I think we just jump down. Yeah. See, there's a guy down there. So just get him. Grab your little hit point. goes in an L shape right here. And once again, you can hold down the jump button and there's a run to this. So just hop on it. You're ready. And then hop on to the next one. And I believe here, this is where it, the, um, the checkpoint is. So if you die, you don't have to start over. Again, you can just start from where you were, or from uh, that checkpoint right there. Which is... Which is good. I don't even want that thing. So I'll go ahead and fall into that one. Now, if you fall off of these, you're not going to just land on the bottom. You will die. Unless you're to a certain point 
um, towards the bottom, then you can fall. But if you're too high up, then uh, uh, then you're you're gonna die. Now watch out, there's some guys in here, so duck, or you could shoot him. There's another guy right in this next one. Shoot him. Duck. Three, four. Now, run. Shoot him. I don't know if there's anything under here. No, there isn't. So we're gonna have to wait for this guy. And then run. There we go. Oops. You dirty rat. Okay, I'll take a few hits. We collected enough of those power, those power ups. Man, you're just blasting me. So, just make your way over here. There's gonna be some more shooting over there, but they'll just turn around. So just follow them. Now, ooh, almost got me. Ooh, shoot! I'm take your life now. Dang it, man, these are just blasted me. I just kind of creep over. Because you notice how I bonked my head on there once on one of the jumps. That'll happen if you don't scoot over enough. So right here you have to jump over onto this thing. And you can just chill right here. And, um, so go over to the right because it can hit you. And I suggest... Just, if you ride it up, there's that thing, but you don't really need it. So, dang it. Now I gotta start that over again. See, that's what happens if you don't, uh, if you don't scoot over enough, you'll bonk your head. Dang it. I'm thinking about it too much now. That's why I'm messing up. can't scoot over too much or you'll fall. There's just that happy medium, and it, it takes a lot of practice to get used to it. So instead of grabbing those eyes, I recommend just hanging out on this thing until the other thing comes down, and then just immediately just hop on to the broken pipe. So hop on there, scoot over a little bit so the sparks don't get you. Then when it starts going up, just uh, hop on that, scoot over a little bit, and then, then make your jump. You know, like I said, man, it's it can be real frustrating. There we go. There we are. Okay. I think I'm right there, where we left off. Here we are. Oops, I should have jumped on that. We're gonna wait for it to go up again. Because that's where the end is. We can, If you go up there, you can get more, um... See, that thing can hurt you. But, make this go up. And then, we are going to... Hop on the broken pipe, and then jump over here, and then I believe it ends right here. I think this is the end. There we are. Okay, here's this. We lost our eyes, so if you hit the B button, it will punch. So just knock them out, just go nice and slow, because there are plenty of power-ups in this. Dang it. But you'll, you'll see how many power-ups. See, those, they'll just be, uh, laying there. You know, just waiting for you. There we go. Now we got some cold things. Now, I suggest just always just firing, because you will find more. And the good thing about this is uh, it will freeze their um, their projectiles as well. So just go nice and slow, and just collect everything, and just keep keep shooting. You know, they, it, they never will run out, they'll just keep coming back and back, but as long as you're shooting, you should be fine. 
You just go nice and slow, just in case you see any power-ups, and you can grab them. There we go. I mean, I guess you can go fast, and you get over with it quicker, but... Now, don't get that. Because you already had 11. Yeah, see? Well, whatever. Screw it. Now... Nice and slow. These are easy to kill. Sometimes they'll be floating ahead of you. See, look what I said. There's, there's plenty. Get that free guy right there. We have 31. You know, there's gonna, they'll just be, oh man, we should have got that thing, but, you know, whatever. This is a pretty, pretty easy. Look, we have 60. Look, we're not gonna run out, so you might as well just keep barraging them. Get that extra. Whoops. Yeah, nice. I don't like that middle one. No, I don't like that one now. Oh, see, I'm, I'm being, I'm going fast. That's why I'm getting hit. See, you can just keep, I mean, you got 86 of them now. Now, I think the bats are coming. Don't grab that, because we got 99 of these. So, I mean, dang it. I'm making foolish mistakes. Uh-oh, so the trick with this is go fast, 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 slow, 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 fast, 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 slow, 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 and just keep going back and forth like that. Dang it. These can be tricky to, uh to miss. You know, just do your best. But this, um, this way of doing things is, uh, is pretty good because it misses most of them. Wait for him to come to you. Now just kind of go with the flow. I think this is the, uh, the end. Yep. Just fly into there. Now we're at the boss. So there's going to be these snowflakes that drop down, and that gives you the freeze power, like we saw before. Um, now, uh, the hag, swamp hag, is up at the top, and we want to freeze the things that she's thrown down so we can make it up to the top. Try to get them over as much as you can. There you go. Oh, missed it. Dang it. Shoot. Alright, I'm getting... She keeps just doing this, man. Oh, wow. Now just keep punching her. Right here, just keep punching her. There we go. Man, I almost died. So that's what happens if you get too close to the left side. She'll keep throwing him and just keeps hitting you on top like that. I thought I was going to die, but I'm glad we got through it. Well done, Bartman. You restored my power of flight and defeated Swamp Hag. So next is underwater with the crabs, and that is my least favorite, and it's, I think, the hardest in the game. Or the boss fight is, at least. Some of the levels are pretty easy, but they're quite daunting. So the crustacean kingpin of crime, Dr. Julius Crab. And he's the biggest punk. 
Chapter 2, The Waterlog Lair of Dr. Crab. So, you're, you're gonna find these fish that blow up. Just stay in the middle of them, and they won't hit you. Watch out for that. Just stay in the middle. Now, I only have one hit point, you know. Yeah, there we go. Stay on the bottom. Stay in the middle, and they can't hit you. Or, right in front of them. Now, stay on the bottom with these guys, because I don't think they're going to come at the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, I need that. Just drop down. Grab that. And run. See, right here, these will push you back. Those bubbles coming up. Ooh. Dang it. So stay below them. Dude, I'm a suicide mission. Just stay below it, and it won't get you. Nope, drop down. See those bubbles? Those are bad news. I don't even know what to do here. Yeah, now drop down. And then go around it. Is that a... Okay, here we are. Now, we can... No! Okay, let's go back and then through here. And we want to take the bottom route, I believe. Dang it. Hopefully it'll start me right there. I do not want to start at the beginning again. Okay, good. Here we are. So now we know we need to stay down and watch out for those things. Oh, okay, never mind. So take the bottom route and stay ahead of them. They won't hit you. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Down. Watch out for this jerk. Stay right ahead of him. Won't hit you. <laughs> nice try. Jag. Yes. Much needed. Gives me the... The confidence I need to make it through here. Now, you can just use the D-pad to swim around. But you can hit the jump button and you'll go faster. And there are some power-ups here, but I usually get hit, and it usually just makes it not even worth the time. But I'll just show you kind of what's what's going on up here. So we can go up here. Whoa. There we are. Dang it. See? I got hit twice. So it's not even worth it. So let's just drop down and go back. But now you know it's there. Oh, yeah. See, now it's even just screwing me over. I don't care anymore. It's a suicide run now. Right here, it's a little maze. So, if you, there's a bunch of exclamation marks, but if you go too, too much, it starts you back over. So, you have to pick the right one, and it's random each time. So, what I like to do is just, just go and just get them. They're not too important to me, so it doesn't really matter if I get started over, but you will eventually pick the right one. Whoa. What are you doing? Lamb chop. Oh, how is this thing? Let's go here. Okay, let's go down some more. One of these, whoa, is the right one. Oh, you, it tricked me. Yep, see? Because I knew he was there. I knew he was waiting for me. There we are. Now, 
Dang it, I wish I had the eyes. They'll go up and they'll try to follow you. Now, just go underneath them. Do not hit that crab, or you will be sorry. It will start you back at the beginning of this part. Just this part. But still not fun. Ooh, I need that. But I don't want it that bad. Ooh. Wow. Now we have the eyes to, to destroy some of these undesirables. Like this blue fish. I don't like your face. Ooh, you got too close to me. I'll waste all of them on you. It doesn't matter. Just to prove a point. Yeah, give me more. Now I'm gonna take everyone out. You're trying to disrespect me. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of these guys. Okay, here we go. Bam. Okay. Now here, it's gonna be dark, and there is going to be this light that follows you around, but stay away from the cross. That's like a scope or something like that, and it will hurt you. So you just gotta figure out which way to go. I think you drop down. See? Just stay away from it. Yeah, see? You get hit. needed to die anyways, because I didn't feel comfortable with uh, that many hit points. So let's just keep going down. Stay away from that. Oh, and I think, yeah, just follow this dude up. Dang it. You jag. Get out of here. I don't care about any any of the Whoa, no you don't. Sorry, Sebastian. I just want out of here. Dang it. What am I doing? Oh no, I'm at a dead end. I went the wrong way. I think we go up. Okay, here we are. Uh-oh. Go up. <gasps> nope. He's gonna hurt me. Dang it. Doesn't matter. There you go. Payback. And I still have two hit points, baby. Stay away from that thing. And I think we're almost home clear. Yeah, baby. Yes. You got nothing. King Kong got nothing on me. Ooh. That's for getting close. Uh-oh. Okay, we're almost there. We are okay. Good. Damn. Now watch out here because octopuses go through the holes. Okay. Just stay away from the holes on the top and the bottom. That was that was risky. What I did was risky. Whoa. Okay, stay away from that. Just wait for Dr. Claw, for Julius. Woo. Whoa. Not worth it. Oh, I'm gonna get... Nope. I don't care. I don't want that thing. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yes, baby. Sketchy. Alright, here, these are a bunch of platforms. On this and some bounce and then they'll fall so you have to be careful with them man this is an intense level man it feels like i got rigor mortis just clench just so intense 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 game i guess the developers did their they did their job so this is gonna bounce 
Now I just hop on there. Now watch, that thing falls. I guess you can't really see it. Get your things. Now there's these things that are gonna say on. This next one's gonna say on, and you gotta hit that, or that vent above you will blow out um, stuff that'll harm you. Now, make sure you get kind of towards the end, because these jumps can be kind of long. And it's got to be just at that right moment where, see? Look what... Oh, wow, it kills you automatically. Looks like you got to be careful. Oh, no, it doesn't. Maybe it, it doesn't hurt you automatically. Maybe I only had one hit point. Alright, but let's just do what we did before. Just hop on them. Turn them off. You got to hit them kind of hard, or they won't turn off. See how it fell? You gotta get them off. You gotta get off of them. Soon. Sooner than later. And this one is the hardest one. There we go. Got it. I was having trouble with that the other day. So hop on this. And then that thing will fall. Watch. There we go. See? The ones that are light, that are colored light blue, those will... Uh, fall off. Well, whatever. Alright. Up on that. Take a ride on the gravy train. And at the very end part there, you're gonna have to jump, but it's one of those light blue ones. Jump on that. Now, jump over there. Bounce. Jump. The platforming is a lot easier than the other Simpsons games. Those are... Oof. I don't even want to talk about it. But this is easy for the most part. Because... Okay, here is the hardest boss in the game. You gotta push up and hit him. Come on, jump on me again, Julius. Dang it, and it sucks because sometimes he jumps that way. You gotta hit him towards the wall. Jump on me, Julius. Dang it! If you don't hit him... ...fast enough or whatever... Dang it, that stupid crab. Man. And you have to hurry up and jump through the wall. Or, um... Ooh. Surprise. jump on you. And you have to hit him in the middle. Oh, good. Ooh, I thought that crab was gonna get me. Jump on me. Nope. I don't want anything to do with you. Jump now. Ooh. Nope. Jump on me. Hit. Yes. Fall into the wall. Thing needs to stay away from me. Jump right there. Wait for him to jump onto you. Hit him. Bam. Now we can jump through there. Those little crabs are the hardest and most... Hmm. They, they're so annoying. But that was the hardest part in the whole game. But we got through it, though. So that's good. So I actually... That was the first time I used that... Um... Uh, that strategy. We're just hanging over the wall, because if you usually hit him when you're on the far right side of the wall, he'll fly that way when he needs to go into the wall. So, we are going into, I think, Lava Man territory. That molten monster of mayhem. Lava Man. Don't dig too deep. You might get burned by the molten lava. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Watch out for these birds. Oh, they are so annoying. So get these, and then kill them. Yes. There's gonna be more birds. Now, drop. Nope. Now we 
want to go right. Now watch out for the snakes. You can't hurt them. They can sure hurt you. Ooh. Now I think you can just drop. Yeah, there we go. Now hurry up and get up. Jump, 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 jump. And watch out for Snake Man and Lava Girl. Or is that Shark Boy and Lava Girl? Ooh. Dang it, that was stupid of me. That's the stupidest mistake of my life. I'm coming for you, bird. Michael Bird. Now hop down here and push both buttons. Whoa, that wasn't very cool. I need to take... Hold on, I have... Uh, uh, what's it called off? I think I have um, Turbo set real quick. Um, what do I have for this Turbo B? Let me just turn it to... to do it to B. Okay, there we go. And resume. Now we want to go... Ooh, get off of here. Go right. Just abide your time. Wait for the things. Dang it. That's stupid. Oh, yeah. Just get hit by everything. Get this free guy. And then we're gonna jump down here. Hold both buttons. To go slow, hold both buttons. Now drop. Grab this. Oh, you jag. That's okay. Bide your time. Just wait. There's no time limit, so do what you want. Now I'm gonna hurt you because your buddy hurt me. There you go. So drop down here as well. Hold your things. What the heck? Oh, screw this, man. Just drop, man. It's a suicide run now. Now we need to run and jump. Wait for these guys to go. Now, don't wait too long or that guy will drop down. See what happened? Now, we're going to drop down here and get the bee and then fly. Fly like you've never flown before. Dang it. Well, it, I think it's for the best. It is going to start us at the thing. There we are. Got a bunch of health. Drop down there. Now fly! Dang it. I don't know what the best thing is. Wow, I'm just getting... Just juice. Hold on! What? Yep. I think this is where we stop. this. Just keep going. Okay. Now these are some pretty big jumps. Whew. See, I barely even made it. Dang it. And we want to keep going to the right. And I think the end is right up here. There we go. Bam. Oh, and then we fly. Here, and this is the end. Here we are. Okay, so this is a big maze, and um, it can be really challenging if you don't know where you're going, but um, you can uh, um, just follow me. It's pretty easy. Just follow my my steps. Oh, whoops. Well, that's kind of stupid. I guess you gotta jump over those. Jump, get these. Get MC Scat Cat. 
the guy from, uh, what, looks like, uh, Opposites of Track. <laughs> With Paul Abdul. So go in the right one. The first is the right one. Now go down. You get this. See? This is the invincibility things that you kept seeing. So go into here. Now go into the right one here. And then go into the right one again. And then go into the middle. Now this is the end. Not quite, but you can... There's a trick to get that. You can just run and jump there, and then we'll fight Lava Man. Almost got it. We're almost done with the game. Got it. Jump just right. Oh, I would have got it if it wasn't... Uh, Get it. I'll get him. I would have got it. Come on. There we are. Now the trick here. Uh oh, jump over here. You have to hit the uh, drops falling down. Just like that. See how it hit him? doing easy. It keeps going in the middle. The middle one's the easiest one. If he's far away, he can't really hit you. Bam. I think one more hit. He'll be done. There we go. Yeah, come in the middle again, my friend. There we go. So now we can just jump into there. So, that was the last level. Now, this is going to be the, um, very end boss, and we get to team up with Radioactive Man to take him down, and it's a really easy boss fight, if you know what you're doing, um, so all you gotta do is just stick to the left and just start barraging him, so let's go ahead and do this. Grab that. Now, these need to bounce off, and, uh, and it will hit Radioactive Man, and it will bounce back and then hit him. And if we just keep doing this... See? Simple as that. The brain will blow up, and it's the end of the game. We've defeated Braino. That's what his name was. Yeah, Braino. I couldn't have done it without you. I'm proud to call you a fellow hero. And a friend. Well, that's nice. He's even considering a friend, too. And so the world is safe once again, thanks to... Bartman. But... For how long? Anyways, so that was an intense game. See, and it doesn't even roll the credits, either. It's just straight back to the intro. You know, where's the heart, man? You know, I don't know. I almost feel gypped as a gamer going through that intense game and not getting the proper credits at the end. But, you know, whatever. So anyways, um, game complete. Bartman meets Radioactive Man. 1992. Acclaim. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next episode.